<laughs> We're not shooting porn, are we? Uh, we'll see how it goes, man. <laughs> Bonus content. I'm too old. <laughs> we have a knot to win. <laughs> Right, we're going to start with a little section, a little bonus section. I'm going to show you these three pictures. I want you to just describe what you're wearing in each, a little bit about where the picture was taken. We'll take it from there. Yeah, so this fantastic. Is, this is the first one to have a little look at. Right, okay. The state of me there. I'm wearing a CP Times Palace collab duffel coat. Beautiful earth tone piece. It's amazing, isn't it? I thought long and hard about getting sick, it. man. So, but, um, so lovely. Yeah, that was like my Christmas present to, to me. To yourself, man. Um, you must have been a good lad. This was in Starbucks in Ashton. Right. Someone had interviewed me and they needed a picture. Jacket Fanatics was the interview, was it? Yeah. And so, yeah, I was in Starbucks. I did a radio show in Ashton. And we always have a Starbucks before we go and record it. So this was just a quick, cheeky... Psh. And that piece of clubber there is like, it's not the usual CP fair, is it? It's like, is it wool? Is it a wool jacket? Yeah, it's uh, it's totally natural fabrics. For me, that's kind of what CP was back in the day. Okay. It was like Stone Island's older, bro cooler, mm. big brother. Yeah, so I went a bit mental when I saw they'd done this duffel coat. I think I first saw you in it, like from behind walking into something. I was like, oh my God, that's like something I've not seen before. And yeah. It's it's big logo. It's a bit wavy the back, the back of it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It looks mad. I kind of, I never see the back of it, see. Right. <laughs> but you know, it's you know it's cool. You know you must be getting checked out by people in that. You it's, don't so, wouldn't you? It's striking, yeah. I do both floors of end when I wear it, even if yeah. I'm not looking at any foot there, just to... Uh, <laughs> Parade. Just to, yeah, just to get some nods. I'm really good mates with the people at CP and I've sort of said to them... Mm please do more of this yeah it looks a million dollars man you look rich in it yeah yeah I'm like a doctor indeed <laughs> yeah as Joey Diaz would say <laughs> right let's flick on to the next one I'm right, not sure going, it's going. a left sweep or a right sweep right okay this is a shout out to Josh Park and he did this photograph of that photograph this illustration of me a few mm. years back yeah so we'll start with the feet so uh, I'm wearing a pair of Hagloff scooter shout out to Hagloff yeah amazing Swedish outdoor brand you know, I'm paid to say that, but they are amazing. Yeah, the scooter boots are so from a couple of seasons back, but, you know, sort of shoes you, boots you can wear in the city centre as well yeah. as up a mountain. Mm. Um, cords, I'm not sure about the cords. Brown cords is very... Album, that's it. Yeah. yeah, they're album. About six years ago, they did these really chunky jumbo cords, and I've, I've yet to find anything better. I've got some brown Grimici cords that I wear a lot. Yeah, Grimici are good. Super hardy stuff. I got some Grimici ones, but they're a bit tapered. Okay. I don't like that. I've got big yeah. feet. I don't, I don't tape it. I had to shorten mine because they were so gargantuan, but yeah, feels good to tailor. Grimici are very good though. I'll give you that. He said, add some jumper. Shout out to my mates in Brooklyn, Pete and the lads. Um, as he says, Danner boots here. I don't know, they're definitely Hagloff scooters. They're not Danners. And it's a, I think it's a Goldwyn jacket. We have this debate, haven't we? It's a big puffy down jacket, isn't it? It's on. some rig, man. Like, yeah. And the, should we mention the nunchucks? Please do, yeah. I was going to ask about the weaponry. Yeah, last time I had an office job, I found my nunchucks from my childhood. Right. And I just used to have them in my drawer next to my desk. And I'd just do a bit of, a few catters. Bruce Lee jobs. vibes. Yeah. Did you have the techers? Did you have a few? Is it the catters is like the, the rudimentary moves that you go through? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice, man. Yeah, I've still got it. Do always eat your back of your head there, <laughs> at some point. It's going to happen. It's some rig, man. So do you reckon that's taken from an actual photo or is that your mate's uh, artist mind's eye of what he'd see you in? I think it's a bit as if I was appearing in court for attacking okay. some nunchucks. This might be the artist impression. Be what I'd turn up with. Obviously, I wouldn't turn up with the nunchucks because that would be a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Incriminating. Be pleaded not guilty. But <laughs> yeah, I think he's just putting together stuff I'd probably worn at various different times. And do you feel like he's... Uh, essentialized you there do you feel like he's boiled you down I think to a he's, caricature he's, he's captured my spirit perfectly I think so man if people recognise that face that's like my avatar on Instagram that face people recognise it it's iconic I yeah. was talking to Stan yesterday the uh, caricature illustrator about the like genius, yeah. boiling down people in their clothes yeah, and I, yeah. I do feel like that kind of captures a lot of what you're about a mixture between like yeah. tailoring and outdoorsy and and uh, Violence. Violence, yeah, man. Middle yeah. name, violence. But I suppose, yeah, it does, it does. It's like, it doesn't make sense from a technical perspective, does it? Like a down jacket and outdoor boots, but cords. That's but the Mancunian way, isn't it? That's it, isn't it? Gore-Tex and suede shoes. Indeed, it doesn't it's make sense, paradox but it works. That, yeah. Let's take us on to the last one, the TBT. This, I think it's one of my favourite photographs. It's especially lovely, when it comes man. to fits. Yeah, yeah. Although that said, me Nana looks better, he's wearing better clothes than well, me. Give us a little rundown of what she's in there. Well, she looks like she's got a Glover all um, duffel coat on. <laughs> she could well have cords on. And like really nasty yakka for me kind of orthopedic shoes. <laughs> but in a good way. Um, probably a bit of M&S underneath that. I don't know what's Nanicore. going on there with Kathleen. This was like, I just started school this. So I think this is about 84. Yeah. So I've got a pair of kickers on. 
pair of Wrangler cords, and a Kappa ski jacket. Nice, man. From Gans Gear in Stockport. Okay. Specifically went for that colourway, because everyone else was wearing the darker blue and the red. And I didn't want that because everyone had that. So this encapsulates a bit of what you're about, like same but different, like yeah. fitting but stand out kind of thing. Exactly. I am a human paradox okay. in so many ways. Talk to me about kickers specifically. What was the kind of hierarchy of acceptable school shoes at your school? Yeah, well, that was it. I mean, I went to a school that was incredibly strict, but they weren't like, asked about fashion. So you could get away with wearing whatever A lot of time you, I wore okay. trainers, yeah. But kickers, I have massive feet as well. I was a size 13, but okay. by the time I was 13. So these were probably an 11 or a 12. They just had that exotic Frenchness to them as well. Yeah, man. And it was all Tags. about Europe. Yeah. 80s Europe. Ooh, we'll come on to that in a yeah, little yeah, bit. Like, yeah. At my school, kickers were upper echelon. In fact, I think Rockports were probably number one in fifth year. I yeah. don't know if you went that through that That was more 90s. Era. I was imprisoned by like, then. <laughs> the orange Rockports, kickers were upper echelon, like top three. And so kickers better than Rockport? No, I think Rockport because Rock they were probably a little bit, bit more pricey, expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the, they were the top one. Then kickers, Alessi, and probably Pod were the bottom of the the big three. Alessi footwear? Alessi footwear, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Alessi yeah. made school shoes. I had I a pair of um, Nike ACG school shoes that were like black leather, just looked like school shoes, but we were real subtle ACG on the back. And that was my kind of... Of course you did. Same but different yeah, yeah, yeah. school shoes. Yeah. But I think I got them when I went on holiday to France, actually. Yeah. But it was so important. And if you had like Clark's, wasn't cool at school. They were too... Yeah, same really. Middle classy, I guess. Yeah, like, a bit indie as well. Did you ever go to Tommy Balls? In oh, uh, yeah, Black yeah. Was it Blackburn? They had a big yeah, yeah, yeah. three-story thing. Yeah. That's where I got all my clerks from before I was allowed to have Alessi and Kickers. Me and my mate bullied someone in there once. Did you? We were, it was probably me, man. It was when we were in a breakdance. Probably the same area this photo was taken. We went up to Tommy Balls in Blackburn, which was a, a, an oasis of Clark's footwear. It? it was yeah. amazing. All strung to, all like seconds though, wasn't it? All strung yeah. together with pieces of string in, in the heels. But like you say, being 13, you weren't that asked about Clark's nah. then, and it was a bit of a faff. But for some reason, there was this kid breakdancing in there that they'd obviously got in to breakdance. To attract the, the hordes on a Saturday? I, I say breakdance, it was more robotics. Okay, popping and locking. Yeah. And me and my mate, just, my mate from Withenshaw, just pure man, just destroyed him. <laughs> just like, that shit, that just being horrible to him. Like, Did I challenge way, him to a, a, a break-off? Yeah, in a way only 13-year-olds can do. Yeah, and then that followed, yeah. And then my mate, <laughs> next to my mate's like doing back spins and stuff. This poor kid just shuffled off. Yeah. <laughs> me and my brother used to spend because we didn't like going there we'd spend all of our time finding the largest pair of velcro shoes <laughs> yeah. on there, like size 14 velcros being like who needs these when yeah that's what 14. my parents were probably doing and then making me try them on so yeah <laughs> shuffling about with the heels and together like, i'm not wearing them mum. <laughs> they're not european it yeah. counted for a lot man footwear was like our school was quite strict you had to have black school shoes uh but there was room to express yourself within those narrow parameters and yeah, that's yeah. where you could you know, yeah. put your signature sure on your flair. Yourself. Yeah, man. Strangers. Oh, I can't so much by strangers.